Good day and welcome into another High Brew Coffee Review from Hits Beer Bottle 420. This one is Dark Chocolate Mocha. So probably a darker, more chocolatey, richer mocha. With this one, they actually do know how much caffeine's in it. They're not saying two numbers that it could be or could be in between. Nope, they're telling us it's 140 milligrams caffeine in this one. So salt to caramel had pretty much the same or a little less or a little more. So dark chocolate mocha has 140 milligrams of caffeine. Cold brewed coffee, but they're not saying on this one that it's certified organic or anything. So cold brewed coffee... Reduced fat milk, pure cane sugar, natural flavors, stevia, pectin, and potassium phosphorites. So the Arabic beans, 60 calories, a gram of fat, 8 grams of sugar, 2 grams of protein. So pretty much the same profile, just dark, milk, dark chocolate milk at this time. I don't know how it is. <coughs> I can smell the coffee from here. It smells burnt and it smells roasted. And a slight chocolate milk smell. Let me go up close to it. Um, smells chocolatey, slightly minty maybe. And like a coffee smell. Eh. It smells a little weird. So, just dark brown. Yeah, just lots of like chocolate smell and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of coffee smell. Dark chocolate mocha. High brew coffee. Born in Austin, Texas. Cheers. Starts off coffee. Then some water, then back to the coffee, but mixed with some chocolate. And it seems at that point to taste all right. And then it's final burst of flavor and finish. It goes a little odd, and it's lots of coffee, and it like dries out a bit. It doesn't stay like wet and refreshing. And the aftertaste are just left with a little texture of chocolate on the tongue and lots of like a dry coffee in the mouth so it's a watery roastedness that goes into a chocolateness that goes into a roastedness with some chocolateness and then something a little odd and weird about it so these high brew cold coffees are a little odd, but they're an interesting try.